Today's adventure brings us to the historic Griffith Park. Basically, today, Jessica and I are going to be spending almost the entire day in the park, walking trails, checking out the observatory, the merry-go-round, and hopefully the abandoned LA Zoo. I've been wanting to come here for so long. In fact, moving here to Los Angeles, where our apartment is, I really wanted to make sure that it was near here so we can basically walk to it if we wanted to. I don't know what it is about this place, but for some reason, I feel drawn to Griffith Park. I'm not really a hiker. I'm not really an outdoorsy kind of person, but I just love the idea of this place. In Pittsburgh, there was a place called Shenley Park. Kind of reminds me of that. I did spend some time there. Jessica and I don't smoke, but if we did, there's absolutely no smoking here in Griffith Park. In fact, Smokey the Bear says fire danger moderate today. Prevent wildfires. Looks like one more sign before we start our outdoorsy adventure. As a reminder, Jessica and I are the least outdoorsy, athletic, exercising people that we know. In fact, I don't think we know anybody who goes exercising on a daily basis. But we're going to try to make a difference and try to be an outdoorsy kind of couple. So you might see some videos here and there. Not like we're, I mean, this is not going to be some weird Jamie Lee Curtis and, um, you know, John Travolta kind of movie. Although that would be kind of interesting if we put on some aerobics gear and did that. Enough said. Let's go explore Griffith Park. And there it is. The famous Griffith Observatory, high above Hollywood and Los Angeles. Made famous in the movie uh, Rebel Without a Cause, James Dean. They filmed all kinds of things here. Terminator, Charlie's Angels, famous scene with Crispin Glover, I do believe. With a Hollywood sign in the background, this is probably the creepiest statue of anyone I've ever seen. It's of James Dean from Rebel Without a Cause, filmed here in the spring of 1955. You see that? The man's got no eyes. It's just creepy. I like it though. We like creepy. Yeah, just look at how gorgeous that entrance is. The gate. The door, I should say. That's beautiful. I want to go inside. Because everything going on in the world, the observatory is closed right now. But that's okay. It's in our backyard, so we'll be back. Like I said, just checking out the views today. And about the center of your screen, if you look to the top of that mountain, you can see the Hollywood sign off in the distance. It's rather peaceful up here. Every time I see the Hollywood sign, I get all giddy inside. That's a beautiful shot. <laughs> Little fun fact, you know, behind the scenes of us moving here is every time we've heard Hollywood Boulevard or Hollywood or the Hollywood sign, we almost automatically, automatically both would start singing that little Hollywood theme tune, you know, Hollywood, dun, 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 Hollywood. And I don't know any other words than that because I'm used to hearing it at Walt Disney World's Hollywood Studios, but it's actually from an old film from, I think the 1930s. Something like that. Yeah, we looked it up and of course I've already forgotten. <laughs> we just discovered that there is a restaurant. It's like a observatory restaurant that Jessica is looking down at. And as I swing across, about the center of your screen over that way, I don't know if you can see the buildings. There's Beverly Hills and the ocean is all the way over there. It's a little hazy today, so you really can't see much. But this place has some killer views, man. Again, the Hollywood sign. 
Jessica, what are you doing over here with your legs? Are you swinging them? Dancing. You dancing? Let's see it. <laughs> Only you. I love that throughout the entire park, there are like walking trails. There's some there, and if I tilt over this way, you can see down the bottom right hand side of your screen. I don't know if you can see the three people walking on it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. cool. You know what, Jessica? Mm -hmm. As beautiful as it is, you do need to watch out for mountain lions and rattlesnakes. Mountain lions are nocturnal, though. Rattlesnakes uh, are noisy. <laughs> so you gotta make a lot of noise and just stay out of here. Well, the park yeah. closes at dusk. Yeah. Probably because, I mean, if there are mountain lions and there's mountain lion problem, I mean, they're nocturnal, so you should be fine during the day unless you walk up on them sleeping somewhere. I think you'd be fine, but I don't know. Rattlesnakes, I've never seen one in the wild, but I hear that if you even get close, they will let you know. So hopefully everybody's okay. Just can't get enough of this place. You sneaking in on my shot? Photobomb. Photobomb, excuse me. Of course, because it's an observatory, they do have a telescope. Not available right now, but there's the sign for it. Jessica's already ahead of me. So, let's walk up here and see. Look at you. Taking in the views and some of the sun. The skyline looks like a panoramic shot I've seen online sometime. Yeah? Yeah. seem so far but whenever you're driving they're right in your face all the time it's neat you can hear the sirens off in the distance yeah this place is massive kind of puts things into perspective everything's covered up right now but they do have those little telescope binocular things that you would put quarters in look off in the distance those are all covered up. The thing that I'm pleasantly surprised about being in Los Angeles is that it is extremely peaceful here. You always think it's this like massive metropolis. People talk about it like it's New York and it's not. It's almost like you're in the countryside with a little more traffic. I don't know how to describe it. There's a door with a lock on it over here, and I'm guessing at one point, peeking around the corner, it looks like you could have walked all the way around it. Not right now, but here's a shot of Los Angeles. It's breathtaking. There's the backside of the giant telescope here at the observatory. Obviously it's closed. And there's also another little baby telescope right there. You know, this is one of those places that I've always wanted to visit, but it's really expensive to park up here at the observatory parking lot. So we had to park all the way down at the beginning, the entrance of the theater, the Greek theater, and walk up here, getting some exercise in and just kind of enjoying the day. It's absolutely beautiful here. Right now we're trying to get down to that pathway that we saw when we were overlooking the city of Los Angeles from the observatory. We're guessing this is the way to go. This isn't so bad for like a nice hike. Downhill is always better. Downhill is always better. It's an interesting shot. Somebody just sitting up there, just chilling out, relaxing. All right, I think we found the little, what do you want to call it, plateau or the peak that we saw. So beautiful. Just look at this. Tell me that doesn't look desolate. 
beautiful though, right? Coming here, this is worth it. A little bit of hiking today. Just to look over Los Angeles. Don't get me wrong, beautiful scenery. But I love the dead trees. I like the, the scenery where it looks like it's stepped out of some sort of, I don't know, wasteland kind of thing. And if I turn this way and look up the hill that we just came down, <laughs> high up on the hill, that's it. Man, such history here. Yeah. And it's all beautiful. It's gone my way wherever I go Hard luck is that it stays Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way 